This is the Cool Fab Racing British Mini Bikes Championship. The official partner series to the BSB. Good morning and welcome to the 2017 Cool Fab Racing British Mini Bike Championship. It's round two of the series. We've moved on from South Wales and to Suffolk's Red Lodge circuit. A one kilometre circuit that, uh, well, more or less flat here, which uh, gives us a unique overview of the track from up here in uh, our commentary position. Uh, those of you listening on radio, of course, uh, this is also going out over the PA system here at Red Lodge. So uh, everyone in the paddock can uh, hear all of the action as we go at the moment through uh, qualifying. We're in the second phase of qualifying for those uh, listening at home. And the opening block of qualifying, well, the, the times so far in Q2 have been uh, somewhat faster than in Q1, certainly in the uh, opening qualifying category, which was the AC40 rookies. Those were the first riders out onto track for Q2. We're just coming towards the last couple of minutes now of uh, Q2 in Mini GP50 class, and it's Casey O'Gorman who tops the timesheets at the moment with a uh, 33.9. That was his uh, last completed lap, his seventh completed lap, in fact, in qualifying two. At the moment, uh, trailing him, Corey Stainer and Evan Belford. Now, uh, that's the championship order as well at the moment, coming into this uh, second round of the season. O'Gorman, the championship leader after three race victories in the Mini GP 50 category at Clandau, and Corey Stainer with two second places. Uh, Evan Belford was the other rider to have made it up into second during the uh, opening round of the season at Clandau. So the same top three in the championship are currently the top three in the timesheets here in Q2. Now comparing their times to the opening qualifying session, it was Casey O'Gorman who was on top again by uh, eight tenths of a second in the case of Q1. He's now nine tenths up in Q2 and with a slightly faster uh, time than he managed in the opening qualifying session. Uh, the top two riders, both about a tenth, in fact, the top three riders, uh, all about a tenth of a second quicker than they went in Q1 as they continue to uh, complete laps, uh, 17 laps completed uh, by Corey Stainer and a few other riders in the field have gone with him in a group, uh, bl blasting away and uh, setting those 17 completed laps. So Casey O'Gorman and Bailey Stewart Campbell have each completed seven. Bailey Stewart Campbell in fourth at the moment. Finn Smart rounding out the top five. Uh, he finished fourth in the points at the opening round in Clandau, ahead of Sandy Horn, who sits fifth in the championship, uh, Thomas, jo uh, Thomas Gomes and uh, Karis Jones just behind in the points standings. And they are all inside the top 10 in the timesheets here this morning uh, so far in the Mini GP50 category, Q2 for these riders. Just coming towards its conclusion with uh, less than 40 seconds now on the clock. And Casey O'Gorman is the uh, rider to have set the time to beat, 33.9 seconds. 34 uh, was what he managed earlier on, and he's just managed to dip below that in this Q2 session. In terms of the uh, completed session, uh, I did mention that the AC40 rookies had got us underway in qualifying. Uh, the times, as I said previously, were significantly faster in Q2 than they were in Q1 in that class. Obviously, these riders gaining in track time and experience all the time. Harrison Crosby came out top in Q2 with a 56-second uh, lap. His uh, previous best had been 57.9 in Q1, so that's quite an upward curve for him. Uh, Sullivan Mouncey finished in second in the time sh uh, charts in Q2. He'd been the top performer in Q1 and Luca Hopkins rounded out the top three in uh, Q2 in the AC40 rookies. Well, the chequered flag is now out in Q2 for the Mini GP50 and the riders making their way back down towards the paddock. Uh, Casey O'Gorman coming out on top then by nine tenths of a second ahead of Corey Stainer. Evan Belford in third, Bailey Stewart-Campbell and Finn Smart rounding out the top five. 
obviously the uh, combined results from qualifying one and qualifying two then determine uh, grid positions going forward and uh, in each of three races during this weekend championship points will be scored so for those of you uh, listening at home we've got coverage throughout the weekend online at the uh, cool fab racing website uh, we'll also be going live on facebook later on uh, here this afternoon and uh, that's all part of a package of coverage that also includes uh, Twitter updates. So uh, join us as we go through the afternoon uh, at Cool Fab Racing on Twitter. We want to hear from you uh, on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see if we can dip into some of your uh, thoughts and messages as we go on through the day. Result of Q2 in the Mini GP50, then seeing uh, current championship leader Casey O'Gorman uh, once again coming out on top. Corey Stainer, his closest rival from round number one in second. Evan Belford uh, finishing third fastest and over a second behind the uh, top rider in that session, Casey O'Gorman. Now coming out onto the circuit with the Pit Bike 140 and Moto Team categories. So two classes in one session here as they will be uh, mixed throughout the weekend and through uh, race action as well. In terms of the uh, two respective championships, it was three race victories out of three for Jamie King in the Pit Bike 140 category. And it's Hudson Kenneth who leads in the uh, Moto Team category uh, with a victory in class in the uh, third race of the weekend last time out at Clandau. We actually had three different winners in the Moto Team category, which was certainly one of the most hard fought and provided plenty of uh, entertainment at the opening round. In terms of uh, Q1, it was Will Howarth who was the top performer in the Moto Team. Now, Howarth was the second race winner of the weekend at Clandau and uh, was involved in all of the overtaking action that was going on. He was uh, well and truly in the top five or six positions in each of the races at uh, South Wales. He finished uh, less than a tenth of a second up on Steve Ball in Q1. Steve Ball uh, currently second in the Moto Team classification. But as I said, very small margins between the top three in uh, Moto Team who all took points from one another at the opening round, each coming up with a race victory. Hudson Ken of Steve Ball and Will Howarth, the uh, top three in the championship in that order. And as I said previously, all taking points from one another at uh, round number one. Next in the timesheets in the Moto Team category in Q1 was Fraser Kinnaird, half a second down on Will Howarth, and Keith Bolton was fourth in the time charts. Uh, he finished just over a second behind the uh, top performer, Will Howarth. In terms of the Pit Bike 140 category, I mentioned uh, Jamie King uh, being the championship leader. Well, uh, he didn't set uh, the same number of laps of the, as the others in that Pit Bike 140 uh, category in Q1 and uh, slightly lower pace than the others, so uh, he'll be looking to try and set a sensible qualifying time here. In fact, he is already faster uh, than he went in Q1 and just in the opening two laps already improving on his personal best. So it's Jamie King who leads the championship in the pit bike 140 category ahead of Ben Pascoe, who uh, took three second places in that class at the opening round and uh, Jim Snow rounding out the top three at the moment with a 14 point advantage over two riders tied behind him. He took three third places. Now we've got a couple of new names in the pit bike 140 category this weekend. So obviously that opens us up for uh, an opportunity to shake up those standings a little bit because as I said in the pit bike 140 category uh, the top three was the same at each of the three races during the weekend at Clandale although that did get mixed up a few times as I said uh, there was plenty of entertainment and overtaking at round number one in these two classes the moto team and pit bike 140s that are currently out on the circuit round about three minutes into this session for those of you uh, listening in at home and it's Sam Clouds at the moment who is the uh, fastest in this session, 33.9, and actually significantly faster uh, than anyone else in the pit bike 140s. Alex Vela is in second position, uh, just over a second in arrears, and then ba Ben Pasco half a second further back. So 33.9 is the time to beat at the moment, and that is the fastest uh, time of the pit bike 140 category all day, because as I said, Sam Klaus uh, came up with a 34.7 
seven earlier on to finish second in Q number one. James Blackburn was top of uh, the opening qualifying session with a 34.5. And obviously uh, that has now been eclipsed, but he does still uh, sit in uh, in the standings as the second fastest and actually just comes over the line to set a new personal best for this Q2. At the moment, he hasn't been able to match up to his Q1 time. So it's uh, James Blackburn with that 34.5 who still sits second overall at the moment behind Sam Klaus with his uh, new personal best of a 33.9. Klaus leading the way ahead of uh, Blackburn in this second qualifying session. And Alex Vela with uh, his own uh, fastest time of this session of 35.2. So he's already approaching the pace that he set in the opening qualifying session. Uh, these riders got in plenty of laps. It's a one kilometre circuit, as I said previously, here at Red Lodge. So uh, within the time frame that they have, they can set plenty of laps. Uh, 17 laps were completed by uh, Blackburn, Vela, Pasco and Smith earlier on. And Sam Klaus completed 18 laps. And he is again uh, among those leading the uh, group around in this second session. A 33.9, his fastest time at the moment. Those of you uh, watching the uh, timing here at the circuit, there are uh, two riders who appear on the uh, timing as Sam Klaus, but there are two different bike numbers. So uh, the number 31 is Sam Klaus, who currently sits top in the timesheets. Uh, the other is the 133 of Darren Anderson. So Darren Anderson appearing on the timing as Sam Klaus. Uh, he, at the moment, is in ninth position in the timing with a 37.4, his best at the moment. And uh, clearly, um, there's some uh, bike sharing or bike loaning going on there. Uh, it's Sam Klaus who's on the pit bike. And uh, in the uh, uh, Moto Team category, Sam Klaus, uh, well, replaced effectively by Darren Anderson. So when you see the 133 that says Sam Klaus, that's actually uh, Darren Anderson lapping out on the circuit. Well, for those of you at home, we are more than halfway through now this uh, second qualifying session in the Moto Team and Pit Bike 140 categories. Uh, not too many changes over the last few minutes. Fraser Kinnaird setting a new personal best last time around of a 36 uh, 2, and that is significantly faster than he went uh, earlier on this morning as well with a 36 7. Um, the difference for this round compared to the last one is that they haven't had uh, a practice, short practice session in the morning as they did on the opening day in Clandau. So we are running um, slightly earlier in, a set in, in that sense. Um, but it does also mean that they are uh, still feeling their way around this circuit, having only had that one qualifying session so far here today. This uh, The second qualifying session now out on track as Jamie King uh, set a uh, new personal best last time around with a 38-1. Now, uh, Jamie King uh, going significantly faster than he did earlier on today, as I said, with a 41.5, uh, which was his best in Q1. So uh, plenty of riders improving on their times compared to earlier on here this morning. And that is the trend that we expect to see as the uh, day goes on. The uh, conditions a little bit less blustery uh, for those at home um, than they were yesterday. Uh, we've got a, a nice bit of sunshine creeping through the clouds. And thankfully, those clouds, for the most part, are, are white rather than grey. Um, the southeast has had mixed weather conditions over the last couple of days for sure. Uh, but when the sun comes out, it, it doesn't feel like uh, springtime in the UK. It feels like uh, an early summer and uh, hopefully will continue on in that vein in 2017. Although that said, I was listening to the radio the other day and they were uh, complaining about it being too unseasonably warm for this time of year. But the riders won't be too concerned about that. Um, just avoiding any spots of rain that uh, might have crept in around the circuit because when the rain does come, um, all of the carting rubber down on the inside of some of the chicanes makes things quite tricky, particularly for the less experienced categories of riders. Around about two minutes remaining in this second qualifying session then in uh, Pit Bike 140 and Moto Team categories. And it's Sam Klaus who uh, tops the timesheets, uh, slow lap last time around. Uh, 33.9 is still the time to beat. James Blackburn setting a new personal best on his last lap for this second qualifying session. He still hasn't quite met his pace of Q1, though. As I said, he was the top performer in Q1 with a 34.5. So his 34.6 that was set uh, last time around his 12th lap of the session, moving him back into second in uh, Q2, but still slightly slower than his uh, outright best. Uh, so James Blackburn, who... Um, 
is behind Sam Klaus at the moment in the pit bike 140 category. And in this second qualifying, it's Will Howarth, who just comes over the line in front of us there, uh, who uh, sets a 35-4 on that lap, his 14th completed lap. 35-1, his best in uh, qualifying two. And uh, that is significantly faster than he went in qualifying one with a 36-2, so over a second faster than he went in Q1, and he tops the Moto Team category, therefore, uh, very comfortably indeed at the moment. Uh, Steve Ball, second fastest in the Moto Team class on the circuit at the moment. Uh, Steve Ball, second in the championship standings to uh, Hudson Kenneth, uh, but Kenneth uh, um, not uh, appearing in this uh, qualifying session. So uh, an opportunity for some of his ri uh, rivals to uh, pick up major points this weekend. Hudson Kenneth, who won the third race of the weekend in uh, Clandau in what was an entertaining race in the uh, Moto Team and Pit Bike 140 categories with plenty of position changes right down to around about sixth or seventh position. And with uh, two categories uh, mixed into one, that does uh, shake things up quite a lot as uh, James Blackburn just comes over the line once again, unable to go quicker than he had previously been, about four tenths of a second off his uh, fastest pace so far. Will Howarth in a group then behind him, a 36.5 on that lap, uh, sorry, 36.3 on that lap. So he uh, going slower than he has previously lapped as well. Will Howarth, his personal best to 35.1 at the moment. So it's Sam Klaus who leads the way, uh, six tenths of a second up on James Blackburn in the pit bike 140 category and the leader of the moto team class in qualifying two is Will Howarth and quite comfortably so as well as the checkered flag waves at the end of for the 10 completed minutes and it's Sam Klaus who just comes over the line uh, with a 34.5 on his final lap again uh, around about half a second short of his fastest pace but setting uh, 15 completed laps during that session and coming out on top with a personal best of a 33 Three, nine. And that is pretty ominous for the other riders in this uh, category, the Pit Bike 140 class, because.